Our next guest plays the rebellious Maya Hart on the Disney Channel show Girl Meets World. And she's here in New York for her very first like fashion week. Please girls. welcome Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> Yay! Sabrina, so nice to meet you. And this Thank is your you. first fashion week? My first ever, which I guess isn't that bad considering I'm only 16. So. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. Are you so excited? I'm super excited. I'm super into fashion. I'm just excited to be here for the first time and take it all in. I love the city. Well, and you're starting off in a great outfit. Thank you. Love this. Oh, yeah. super chic. I love the stripes Thank and the you. jeans. You look great. What are you really looking forward to this week? I have a lot of friends that are going to be here too, which is really fun. So I'm excited to see everybody, along with new style, obviously. I love taking style inspiration, especially stuff that you haven't seen before, um, and then mixing it with, you know, things that just no one's seen yet. It's going to be really fun. I'm excited. What shows are you planning on going to? Uh, tonight I'm going to Alice and Olivia, Angel Sanchez, um, I think Marquesa tomorrow, so it'll be very fun. Oh, that's always a beautiful show. Absolutely, I love Marquesa. Maybe you'll find something to wear on the red carpet there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your show, Girl Meets World. Yeah, we're in season two right now. We, uh, we're we almost done, we have three episodes left. We're doing a 30 episode season, so it's been quite the year. Um, we've almost been filming all year round, but we're very excited because this season we're dipping into a lot of more mature topics. Um, and just some of the stories that we've been able to tell is, is stuff that you haven't really quite seen in a kids show yet before, so I think it's uh, very exciting. We just went to the Emmys the other night. We were nominated for our first Emmy, so. Yay! Congratulations! Yeah. yeah, and especially because it's a sequel, you know, you never know how people are gonna take that and digest it, but we, we're very lucky. We have a great supportive fan base. So. Have you ever watched the original Boy Meets World? Yes. I could. I shouldn't be on the new show if I Favorite haven't watched the character? old show. Uh, Sean Hunter, but yeah, I guess I'm biased. I, love that <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love everybody. Actually, Eric is one of my favorite characters too, and Will Friedle is one of the funniest people alive. I remember having the biggest crush on Corey growing up. <laughs> ben would love to hear that. <laughs> you can tell him. For I Randall. will. <laughs> You've got a movie coming up yes, too. Yes, I do. Further Adventures and Babysitting. Yeah, we actually uh, filmed that in the midst of filming season two this year. So that's why it's been such a long year. But uh, I'm very excited to be a part of another reboot, especially one that was so monumental, I guess. It was uh, such it was, a great it's movie. It's a classic. Yeah. It has like a cult following. Yeah, I'm sad I've never babysat before though. Like oh. I'm playing this like great babysitter, but no, I'm actually- No, you're not, you're not sad. You're not it's missing. Not, it's not good. Oh, it's okay. Not like, 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 I'm, I'm really happy. Somebody else's kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, in your free time, you somehow managed to also record music. Yes. So you um, have a song, Eyes Wide Open, that came out in June of last year? Yes, I started singing first. Singing was kind of um, my platform, and I didn't really know what acting was until I was around 11 or 12 years old. Um, so the fact that now I get to make music as well as act and do what I love is very, very exciting. Um, I released my debut album, Eyes Wide Open, in April, and um, I've gotten a lot of positive response so far and now I'm back in the studio working on new music which I'm super excited about it's like it's like that time you don't realize how long like artists are actually listening to their stuff before they release it mm -hmm. but I feel like it's forever so now I'm in that period of time well you are a super talented young lady Thank and you. we're gonna put maybe some of your other talents to the test because everybody who comes here has to play a game oh no so yeah. for you, we've got oh, a really no. fun one it's called faceless fashion so we're gonna put up a look with the face blocked out okay. and you've got to guess who wore it so you ready no <laughs> Uh, a Kardashian? Yeah, very close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, Yay. good one. All right, what's our next one? Oh, um, I don't even know this. I don't Miley know Cyrus? Oh, that's a oh, good one. Yeah. Wow. All right, you are good at this. <laughs> She's very don't say talented. That. All right, we got another Katie one. Perry. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow, three for three. I just got any more? That's that is it. Well, we're going to end on a high Well, that was a great test. I like that. <laughs> well, thank that you nice. so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Have fun thank at the you. rest of your first fashion week. Thank you. Yay. Let's check in with Yahoo Style correspondent Nick Axelrod, who is at Skylight at the Monahan Station, Moynihan Station, where Badgley Mishka is showing today. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Hey guys, I'm here with Mara Ferreira from M Loves M. You're based in Los Angeles, but you're here for New York Fashion Week. You've been making the rounds. What shows have you been to so far? Oh my gosh, I've been, I started off with Project Runway on Thursday. Um, I went backstage for that, and then I went to Tibby. I've been to Tracy Reese. So you do backstage and, the, and you watch the runway? Yes. What are you seeing backstage that's been exciting? 
backstage is really exciting. That's where like... all the hair and makeup is getting done. So yeah, it's a very... trends we can expect. Anything? Yeah, it's a very um, fun place. I mean, there's a lot of you know the makeup artists, the hair, the stylists, all the media. But I'm um, so, so many amazing beauty trends. I've loved. She was telling me that <laughs> fake freckles. Fake freckles They're are Tracy in. Reese. Yes. Fake freckles are in. With rhinestones. <laughs> with rhinestone freckles. Yes. So you could, if you were like going to try to test the waters with the trend, you could just do little yes. beauty marks with like a pencil. If you really want to go all in, you have to get some rhinestones at your local Michaels, right? Yes. It's like perfect for pool parties, those summer events and stuff. Exactly. Definitely going to be doing it. So you also have 99,000 Instagram followers. I yes. want to know, <laughs> as an Instagram rookie, how do you take a good Instagram and how do you get, how, how, how do you build a following like that? Oh gosh, well, I mean, I've been doing it for six years, so it's been a while. A little bit but of time. I do think that natural lighting is definitely important. Got it. Um, Find your light. I feel like followers love the selfie. Followers love a <laughs> they selfie. They love to see you in action, see what you're doing. My followers love seeing me in New York and traveling and doing all of that stuff. So. Now, the Blonde Salad has a hashtag that so you can follow her through different yeah. cities. Do you have a hashtag? I do. What's I, your hashtag? I have M Loves Travel, and then I'll update that for different locations. So right now it's M Loves NYC. Got it. And can you tell me a little bit about what you're wearing right now? Yeah, um, I'm wearing some metallic pants that are very, very comfortable. Um, a pair of leopard heels and a basic white tee um, with a fun statement necklace. I love it. And so apparently <laughs> pajama dressing is also going to be in next season. Oh, yeah. It's in. It's Stay in already? In. Oh, yeah. So how do you actually do that in a way that like feels like you can go out of the house when it's not dark out? I think you just have to make sure to add heels and add some fun accessories. So heels and pajama pants. You heard it here. Second, <laughs> maybe, because it's already in. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you.